I'm here at the Philadelphia Folk Festival, the 57th annual Philadelphia Folk Festival with Jane Tui and John Lupton, who are responsible for this amazing coffee table book all about the history of the festival. So Jane, how did this all come about? Um, Eric Ring got a, got a publishing contract and I said, I'll help. And we gathered all the way back to all the beginning of the festival, 55 at that point years worth of photographs and stories. And um, John edited and wrote a lot of the book. Eric did a lot of interviews. And we've tried to tell the story about the history of the Philadelphia Folk Festival in words and in photos. And Jane, you're one of the main photographers here at the festival, right? I always see you in the press pit. Yes, I, I've been photographing here for about 35 years now. So yes, and, and so there are a lot of my photos in here. A lot, there are quite a few of John's and there are over, over 20 photographers who donated their work to this. And um, all the f proceeds from the book go to the Folk Festival. It, it, was, it was rewarding and a lot of fun for us to research the history of this event. And we learned a lot of really cool stuff like the fact that this farm at one time was an airport. Did you know that? I I did not know it, that. It's true. And the main road in the campground used to be the runway. And little things like that about this, this wonderful location, this, this Perkiomen Valley, that, uh, that just added so much to the experience of, of doing the book. It's available at the website for the Philadelphia Folk Song Society. Please support the Folk Festival, and, and I hope you find a little bit about your story in this book.